Daniel Chambly and Tim Rosenford and Randall Sean Foley, coaches Hunter Mahan and coaches Tiger Woods. But if you're on the couch watching, you're saying, with all that ability, 14 more majors, Tiger has more than Mahan. Why is Hunter so far advanced, it looks like right now at least, than Woods? And according uh, to uh, sources, Sean Foley is telling Tiger Woods, just watch Hunter Mahan. That's how you want to swing the golf club. I thought it'd be interesting to put these two side by side and take a look at just where Tiger Woods goes awry. You see both these setups are almost identical. Feet are square, knees are square, hips are square. Shoulders are square. The right arm is higher than the left. Not many players do that these days, but Hogan did it. Sean's taking a page out of Hogan's book. The asset of that is that it gets everything turning back together, or you would think it would. Tiger, however, doesn't do that. Watch his lower body. He doesn't turn it. He doesn't turn his core. He doesn't turn his upper body. And as a result, he's trying to suck the club to the inside, but he can't get it inside. And the reason he can't get it inside is because watch what Sean does. He turns it inside with his lower body, his core, his shoulders. Everything moves together. As a result, his hands are in the same position relative to the face as they were at address. His thumb is right on top of the club. What you can't see is that Tiger Woods has already changed the position of his hands compared to where they were at address. His thumb is just on the side of the shaft. Now, as they go back, you're going to see what a difference that makes. Hunter Mahan's face is parallel to his left forearm. It's square. Look at the face of Tiger Woods. It's already shut. His left wrist is already bowed. And look at Hunter Mahan. He's turned the club back to the inside. Tiger Woods' club still in front of him. As a result, at the top, he's laid off. He's got it bowed with his left wrist, and that has a cascading effect all through his body. Puts pressure in his left wrist, his shoulder, and everything. You get to the top like Hunter Mahan, though. Look where his club face is. It's perfectly square to his forearm. His, he's got a nice cuff on his left wrist. His thumbs are underneath the shaft. And even though his right arm is beneath his left, He's in a perfect spot. He can do anything from there. He can fade it, draw it, hit it low. Tiger Woods, however, almost can't do anything. And the fact that he's resisted with his lower body, now he's going to have this snap release of his lower body, and it's going to drop the club to the inside. And the effect of that is going to be he's going to be stuck. You hear him talk about that. Hunter Mahan never gets stuck because of the position he's in right there, and he can move down. Watch Tiger Woods at impact, and he's got to make room because he's stuck. And his legs snap up, and he snaps up out of the ball. And I'll tell you what, folks, that drive went 95 yards left of the center of the fairway. Conversely, look at Hunter Mahan from where he's at. He can do anything through the ball. And that's what Tiger Woods used to look like through the ball right there, folks. He cleared with his lower body. He didn't snap up. He stayed in his posture, and he made room for the club to come down on plane. But you've always heard that you can make or break a golf swing in the first foot and a half. Tiger Woods breaks his golf swing in the first foot and a half because he ruins any possibility of getting the club in the proper balance. Having said that, it almost looks to me like, Tim, that he doesn't have the flexibility anymore in his lower body, and in particular his hips, to swing the club like Hunter Mahan or Sean O'Hare. And that's the problem when you try to teach a method, when you have an idea of where the club should go as opposed to teaching fundamentals and working, as Butch said today on the telecast, working with the strengths of those players. If Tiger Woods would just raise that right arm, get it where it was in 2000, get this club, the hands underneath the shaft, I promise you he'd hit the ball miles better. That's great stuff, Randall. Let's talk about a guy.